Hey, brother! Ben, I'm afraid I have a confession to make. I am a cheater. Don't look at me! Actually, wow, I am having a really good hair day. Look on. Oh, the shame! How can I let this happen to me, Ben? Me. A cheater. Well, allow me to share with you my tale of deception. You may have noticed recently, if you've been outside, that the weather is changing. There's a cool brisk in the air. The leaves are changing colors. Starbucks is selling pumpkin spice lattes again. Fall is here! Like my fall from glory. But even more important than all that nature crap is that there's new TV on the air, Ben. And even more importantly -er than that is that Netflix is releasing full seasons of all of last year's programming, which maybe you missed because you were filming a year-long video conversation with your brother in your basement, which you share with him, a secret that you managed to keep for the entire year. <laughs> Whoops! Spoiler alert! No, you're supposed to say that ahead of time. That doesn't matter, it's already happened. Unless you're a new viewer. Spoiler alert. But speaking of things that spoil, that's how my conscience feels. And the one show that I was particularly interested in watching was How I Met Your Mother, because then I had gone all summer and all spring without hearing or accidentally seeing She Who Has Now Been Shown, or the mother. So last weekend, girlfriend Beth and I sat down to power watch through the season and find out who this mysterious mother was. And we were going strong for the first eight episodes, but then Beth started to fall asleep. Actually, it was closer to like seven and a half. I had to fill her in what happened on the eighth episode. And at that point, Beth decided she wanted to like go home and sleep or something crazy like that rather than powering into the wee hours of the morning. So after she left, I came back in the house and I stared at the TV and then I realized... I don't need her. All the information I want is right there. I don't even know for a fact that she would be mad if I watched without her. I mean, even if she asked. Did you keep watching without me? I can just lie. It would be easy. Just like, <sighs> no. I mean, worst case scenario, I'll just have to rewatch some episodes. That's not so bad. I love this show anyway. Plus, I'll actually seem even smarter because I'll be able to predict everything that's about to happen with 100% accuracy. It's a win-win. It's foolproof. I say foolproof. But nay, I was strong, Ben. I walked past the TV and into my room and I got into bed and that's where I found my iPad. And that's when I said screw it and decided to keep watching. Right there. In my own bed. I shot. Che cheated? Cheat? Cheat? That. You, you know what I mean. I know. I'm the worst. But I have a feeling I'm not alone. Because once upon a time, this wasn't even a problem. If you had to watch live TV. If you missed it, you had to wait to catch it during reruns. <laughs> If your significant other couldn't be there to watch it with you, you were actually doing them a favor because then you could tell them what happened. But now that you can view programming completely on your own timetables, this odd obligation to only watch shows when all parties are present has risen. So Ben, my question for you and everybody else is, are you a Netflix cheater? Do you start watching a show with someone and then when they leave say, eh, screw it, I want to know what happens? Or have you been cheated on? I try not to do it very often, if at all, because it actually does leave me to new programming sometimes. like. I can watch shows that I know Beth wouldn't want to watch, like The League or Family Guy or Power Rangers, whatever. But let me know. Leave your answers down in the towel section below. And if you have not done so yet, please go check out our new gaming channel, Super Carlin Gaming. We have two episodes up and it is getting dramatic, let me tell you. <laughs> That's it for me, but I will see you in another life, brother. Oh, there you go, Brock. Blind Pokemon trainer. Open your eyes for God's sakes. Show me some respect. Actually, you should show Donatello some respect. He's about to rip through your team with a little water gun.